Our first look at the private development set to be built as the new Smokies Stadium goes up in the old city. It will be named after a legendary local artist who went on to become known around the world. Ryan Katane is joining us live from the development site with the story you'll see here first. Ryan, good morning. Good morning, Heather. I am standing in front of the empty lot where the new downtown stadium developers plan to build it, but I want to take you over here to show you this is how close to the stadium this new building will be, and we want to show you renderings of what it will look like. You should see that on your screen right now. The nine story building will have somewhere between 35 to 45 condos, underground parking, restaurants and retailers. It'll be named the Buford Delaney building. Delaney is an internationally acclaimed artist who's childhood home was just a block away from here. I spoke to Reverend Renee Kessler at the Beck Cultural Exchange Center about what this means for preserving black history and heritage in Knoxville. We should have been had a building named after Buford Delaney in this city. Um, we should have long time ago acknowledged uh, the brilliant artist that the world has already acknowledged. I think it's been a travesty that everywhere throughout the country and in the world, when you talk about art and the great artist, Buford is there except in Knoxville. So I think it's very important. It was, it was, it was uh, fitting that he would be the first. Developers plan to build this $45 million project along with the stadium so they finish at the same time and the project is expected to be finished by 2024. That's around the same time the Smokies are hoping to begin their new uh, baseball career right here at this stadium. Heather, back to you. A lot of exciting things in the work, right? In the works, Raya, thank you very much. We do want to get to other news.